Hey guys, welcome to a one-off little adventure I sort of decided to do on a whim. Um, you see, there was a uh, Let's Player I was watching a couple uh, days ago named uh, Silver Age Scientist, who went back to the first Roller Coaster Tycoon, which is one of my favorite games from, like, grade school, and uh, beat the first level using only a Ferris wheel. Now, I took that as a bit of a challenge, and I had been playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 a little bit on the side, so what I'm gonna do, Mr. Sass, Sasparilla, is I'm gonna go in to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and try to do the same thing on the first level of this game. Might need to tweak it a little bit, considering uh, I doubt the scenario is exactly the same. But uh, we'll we'll see. We'll see. the The only condition is I have to beat whatever scenario, um, with one Ferris wheel. That's the only ride, only attraction I can build. As much other fluff uh, as I can is fine, like stalls and stuff. But let, let's try this. Let's try this. It might actually work. Or it might end horribly, and I would just end up making myself look ridiculous. Okie dokie. Guests in the park, 400. Minimum park value, 20,000. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Okay. First thing we have to do to make this fair is pause the speed, and we're gonna have to go ahead and close down the rides we already have up. And not only that, we're going to have to actually sell them as well. So, let's see. Oh, Tumblr. Oh, Tumblr, everyone loved you, but but you're you're not going to be good for my plans. I must get rid of you. Yes. Go away. And then Let's remove the path. That's gonna make everyone all sad, but, well, they're just gonna have to deal with it. And then all the way over here we have this wonderful roller coaster, but sadly it must go. I am so sorry. And with that, all the guests will be confused and annoyed. So let's go appease them with building, um, building at least something for them. Let's see, uh... Should I build it up here, or should I build it back here? Probably back here. Let's go in. Merry-go-round. Did I say Ferris wheel? I meant merry-go-round. Yeah. That's, that's what we're going for. Merry-go-round engage! Okay, so I think we're off to a strong start here. We have the one Ferris wheel to rule them all. I should actually name it that. No, don't delete it! I spent too much time on that. Um, I have to admit, I'm actually still getting. God damn it! No, don't build fir trees. I'm still getting used to the controls a little bit. So, um, if I appear to be sort of floundering at any point during this, well, toggle peeps. Oh, toggle peeps. Peeps are the people. I found this out. We got the very start of a food court going over here. And if I remember anything about this game, if you don't put litter bins all over the food courts, people will freak out and like start throwing their trash everywhere. Which reminds me, I should probably start hiring a lot of maintenance people. Especially for keeping up that one thing. Come to the food court, we have num nums. I also managed to create squirrel bushes. <laughs> They're squirrels. People are going nutty for the food court. Okay, I'll stop now, I'm sorry. Park name Ripping Off of Sass Blatantly. Yes. That's a good name for the park. Um. This is going to be a very nice park, so I think I'm actually going... Oh, I can't change the entrance fee. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a problem. 
can go ahead and nerf all of these because we're not going to be using any of them. Uh, we'll keep shops and facilities and all these other things. Actually, I should probably push as much into these as possible. Except for those. I don't need those. And we'll take that down to about... 100. Yeah, there we go. Let's see here. I think we're good for now. We need to get our staff rolling, though. Now, in this version of the game, you can also train staff members. So, we're going to take our new mechanic, and I'm going to call this mechanic, because I can name him, Secret Agent Charlie. Yes. And we're going to try to get him to patrol right around... Everywhere in there. I think I've got the full extent of this place covered. You're not allowed to go anywhere else, Secret Agent Charlie. Your one goal, your one mission, should you choose to accept it. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. You're forced to accept it. For I am the evil overlord. Is to make sure the one ride we have does not break down. I think I'm giving you plenty of room to ensure your task, you jerk face. Man, look at all that. Look at that. That queue line's already filling up like crazy. Hmm. Janitor. What should we call the janitor? Let's call the janitor. Scout freak. Let's call the other mechanic. Um. Kurgurgle Schmitz. Yeah, I think that's fair. Now, speaking of ways to break a game's immersion, um, I'm pretty sure in the original game the path actually went off to the edge of the map and ended. Apparently, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, it just kind of stops in the middle of nowhere and then people disappear into nothing. Great. I, I like it. No, then just fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have no problem with that. I'm just kidding, I do. I think it's stupid. I can buy animals. Oh dear. Um, cool. Let's buy animals. Wooden fence? Chain fence? Electric fence. Well, we definitely don't want our animals to escape, so we're gonna just, uh, build some electric fences. I'm sure PETA won't have any problem with it. <laughs> Clear out a couple of these trees and just uh, build a massive like enclosure back here around the first aid station. Yeah, it looks safe. All right, what kind of crap should we stick in here? Let's put some grizzly bears. Holy crap, these things are apparently extremely expensive. Grizzly bears? Can I just flop it? And then female one. Are they gonna just kind of do it? Awesome. This is amazing. So we got grizzly bears. And I think I need to make a path like coming out here so people can look at them. And see the fact that there are indeed grizzly bears. In the park. Which I am totally not going to let loose later when I get bored. Uh, it's kind of awkward we only have this little path to work with. Oh god, they're attacking each other. I think, no, that might be normal. Do I have to feed them or something? Whoa, hang on. Can I put... How did I even get the grizzly bears in the first place? Oh, there we go, got it. Okay, what do grizzly bears like to eat? Um, they like to eat kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos. Let's make sure there's plenty of kangaroos for the grizzly bears to eat. That should be awesome. 
I don't see any problem with this at all. <laughs> oh, I'm a horrible person. No, they look fine. They, they look like they're interacting and acclimating with each other perfectly. I don't see any problem with this. Nope. Because uh, grizzly bears and, and freaking kangaroos, they're just natural buddies. They hang out all the time in the wild, right? That's, that's totally what they do. Oh my god, I'm gonna need more animal cages. Oh! <laughs> Run away, little monkey! Oh no! I didn't know that could happen! So leopards eat monkeys, but... For some reason, kangaroos and grizzly bears get along just fine. That's that's that makes sense. That's logical. Let's let's give uh let's give the leopards something a little bit more on their level to uh to play with. Like uh maybe elephants? No, I can't put those in that kind of fence. Lions. That'll work. Lions and leopards. They need animal houses, too. Jeez, these things are needy. Well, how do I get animal houses? Uh, purchase animals, enclosures. Okay. Animal houses. So we need... Animal houses for those. Oh, God. Um, that is massive. And we need an animal house for... Large herbivores, camel, hippo, rhino, oop, ape house, elephant house, giraffe, horses, grizzly bears. Okay, got it. So we're gonna need to put another one in there for grizzly bears. Actually, Kloss the kangaroo. Yeah, I know, Kloss. Just chill. I'm trying to find it. There we go. We'll put one here for you. Yeah. We're gonna have to figure out a way to, like, connect these two things or something. Yeah, I know! Stop it! Stop yelling at me. Eh! Here. Stop getting mad. Let's expand this out a little bit. Hey. Hey, kids. 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 You don't wanna be in here. Kids. Leave. You really... More people are walking in! There's grizzly bears in there, dude! You can't do this. Like, I wasn't even trying to get those other two trapped. They just kind of did it. Hang on. I can, I can fix this with careful application of uh, things. Mm. There we go. Kangaroos, yeah. There we go, got it. Now the grizzly bears are mad. So maybe I should like pick up one of the grizzly bears and fix it? Where are the grizzly bears going? Hey! Hey! I need to fix you. Stop it. Stop moving. Well he's just getting pissed off. This isn't good at all. I can't get these grizzly bears out of here. I'm too inept. Saz, help me! <laughs> Give your, me your roller coaster tycoon expertise! I've got grizzly bears in my kangaroo house. I don't know what to do about it. There's people in here too. Oh, this is a disaster. No! Oh, don't want to quit the game. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We need to make more space. That's the problem. We're running into. So let's go back and like undo some of these enclosures. Can I can I undo it? Please? Because it doesn't need to be happening like this. This is bad. I'll just eh. Make the lions go away. Is that one dead? Oh, I didn't even hire a keeper. Apparently I just kind of spawned one. That's good. I'm happy for that. 
Loretta the lion can go screw herself. I'm working on it. Okay. Okay, I got it. So let's put this all the way the heck over here. Well, they were stupid for standing in the way. It's not my fault. Go to hell, Nelson. It's just, they're just lions, okay? Just stop freaking out. All you have to do is run. Because it's not an even electric fence. You just run really, really fast and jump it. Bunch of whiners. Seriously. Here, let's turn this so Loretta doesn't get all pissed off. Yeah, I know. Jeez, this is a stressful game. I was not anticipating this. It looked so relaxing. And I'm just like, having to deal with all these people freaking out because apparently they're stupid and getting stuck in lion enclosures for no apparent reason. There. Plenty of space for the lions, they can stop yelling at me now. Um, right, so what am I gonna, what am I gonna do with these bears? <sighs> bears, 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 bears. Yeah, delete that. Um, let's make, yeah, I know, Claus. Shut up, seriously. I need my own home. I'm not paid enough to work at this stupid zoo. <laughs> Here, let me just make this giant ass enclosure over here. And then all I have to do is go in and make a house for the grizzly bears. Look at that. And then a house for the kangaroos, which I don't have enough space for. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Now, all you people just need to make the massive exodus and get the hell out of... Get the hell out of Dodge and get over there. We have to do that by, like, connecting these two, I guess. So let's see here. Um, go back to stalls. Closures. Electric fences. Yes. Look at that. Perfect. Screw all the people that are running around. It doesn't matter. Because you have exactly what you need now, and you can stop pestering me. God. These kangaroos are such drama queens. Let me just go ahead and uh, fix this path here. Make everything all nice and neat. There we go. Fantastic. Well, this is looking nice and pretty now. Kangaroos boxing. Just all happy and neat. We can clear out some of this path that we don't really need. And expand the size of the lion cage a little bit. And I spent a lot of time working on this to get it good. So maybe I should add more animals in here now. So we've got room for these these kangaroos and we've got room for the bears so let's add a do, 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 do. what environments do we have herbivore house and the yeah whatever herbivore house and the carnivore thing right right okay and we can put polar oh we can get polar bears <gasps> polar bears awesome Polar bears and gazelles. Yep, doing it. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. There, okay, so the complaining about not having enough food stalls should stop now. At least we're starting to flesh out the park a little bit more. You could probably add some, like, foresty type thing to it. Heidi! Breaking my balls, Heidi. What do you want me to do about it? Can I pick you up? Oh. Let's see what's in her hands. She has a really manly voice for some reason. Oh, look at that. 
Or we can just take you and flop you out there. There we go. Problems are solved. No more fleeing from poly rares. It's not like you were any in any danger to begin with. All of you have been in here for like two hours with no problem. Is this a blonde chick with an afro? Oh. This is just like What's his name? Terrence? Terrence. Stupid name. Alright, I've got two sets of food stalls placed. The other one on the other side of all these like liony critters. So they have to go past all of that to get to the food stalls, which means they'll probably be actually using them a little bit more now. These over here got used up pretty quick. Eh, I should probably put some more benches down over here. These are all open, right? Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Good! Oh, crap, I need another bathroom. Out of money? Are you serious? I run out of money. What could I have possibly done to make myself run out of money? Oh, right. Probably buying all those polar bears. And, um, the grizzly bears. And the lions. I see. Okay. Um, we're going to have to play this a little differently now. Oh, dear. I just looked at my park value. Um, it's not going up at all. It's not going up at all. And I built all those things. What the hell? I guess I have to take out a loan. I just put down drink stalls. Ugh. Obviously, the problem is I didn't have enough trees. <laughs> Let's get all these trees in here. <laughs> well, I've been at this for about an hour, and I don't think I'm making any headway. Let me go back. Let me just make sure. The last time I looked at my fin finances, it was pretty bad. Eh. Park value. Yeah, it hasn't... I think it's actually gone down. <laughs> the park value. So, um, obviously this is not going well. I could throw it on fast forward to see if we actually were making any income. But, um, I'm not sure if we are or not. Yeah, we're not, we're really not making any income, and, uh, I think it's just going to be getting worse. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and admit defeat on this one, because Sass kind of made it look really easy. And people just keep getting trapped inside these freaking animal pens. What the hell? I don't have time to even deal with this. Get out of there. They're just farting all over each other, and it's just a mess. This has just turned into a total disaster, a total mess, and I admit defeat completely. So, uh, if you want to go watch a competent version, <laughs> albeit older, uh, an like an older game, but it it's still just as good. It's probably even better than this game. Sass's playthrough, at least the first episode, was amazing, and um, him, Sparhawk, and Run Home Run are three really underrated commentators that have not gotten a lot of face time, and I think they've all been running their channels for about a year at this point. So, I just wanted to sort of make this as a throw that out there sort of thing. Um, Merry Christmas and crap like that, and I hope you guys... <sighs> Keeper 5. How dare you. At 2, Animal Keeper 5. You know what I have to you know what I have to say about that? Hey, hey, you know what I have to say about that? Where are you? Where are you? I'm taking this. Throw it out here! Oh, I can't do that. Throwing him out here. Out here? Can I I can only put him inside okay. I can't even punish these people in the appropriate way. Like, what is wrong with this game? I just want to take my land tool and just cover everything in water or something. Just, I, But I can't, because the game won't even let me enjoy blowing everything up. 
because I don't have enough money. Because I'm so horribly in debt. Ah! This did not go the way I wanted it to. Sass wins. I'm done.